Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. Today, we're going to answer a viewer's question on how do I water my mounts? I'd like to thank this viewer for sending this question in, so be sure to stick around. Alrighty, well, I had a viewer of my how to mount a mule ear orchid uh, comment to me on how do I water my mounts. Um, so I thought I'd make a video of that because I thought it'd be easier than to type it out and explain it. Uh, so here's my mount stand. And you see, I don't have a lot of things mounted, but I have a few things mounted. And I just want to point out that down here at the bottom, I've got my mount stand sitting on a big plastic tray to catch any of the water uh, that dribbles down. And you can see my spray bottle. And then I also have my watering bucket here because there's a couple different ways I water my mounts. Now I've not watered these mounts yet this weekend, so I'm going to show you my weekend watering routine. And I'm also going to explain that, actually I'll show you um, with this one here on what I do on every day except for full on orchid watering day. So I'm going to start down here with these little ones. This is a Tulumnia. And every morning I come in and I give it a good little spray. And I get my old man's beard pretty wet too. So I give it just a really targeted spray. And as you can see, the water is collecting in my tray. And we'll give this one a water. I try to be gentle and I, I do go at it quite directly. I don't just spray willy-nilly. And I do this in the morning before I go to work. And then in the evening when I get home from work. Now I will say that I have not had a full summer in this grow room with these mounts. So I do not know if while I'm away at work, if my mounts are going to suffer because they'll need more, more than just twice a day spraying we'll come to figure that out. But as it is, <clears throat> in my grow room, I'm able to maintain good 50% humidity throughout the whole house. Uh, and in the grow room, it's actually 60%, and that's right here by my mounts. So I've been able to keep this up pretty good even with the heating and the air conditioning running. Uh, so I think they'll be fine with just twice a day. But yes, yeah, so I just spray them and that's just plain, boring old reverse osmosis water and they get sprayed in the morning before I go to work. So I leave the house at about 7.30 in the morning. So they actually get sprayed at about 7 a.m. And then I get home oh, about 5.36 and they'll get sprayed about you know, 6.30 or 7 p.m., and then they won't get anything until the next morning. Now, on Saturdays, I actually bring my whole watering cart into the grow room, and once I'm done watering the entirety of my collection, I actually take whatever water, oops, I take whatever water is left, and We'll just grab down this, and I'll just rest it right there, and then I'll just pour it over it. And yeah, my old man's beard is getting, this is nutrient water, this has got calcium, magnesium in it, this has got the whole lot in it, and I'll just do that to it. You know, this happens every Saturday. Whatever water is in the bucket, the plants get picked up off the rack, they get laid down on the bucket and they get drenched and this way that we can make sure that they're getting their calcium magnesium the whole whole lot all their nutrients and I still just drop a couple cupfuls on this is all I do that should be good for this one and then we'll just let it Rip off a bit. And 
and that's that mule ear orchid. It's put out this new growth and that new growth since it's been put on the mount. And yeah, that happens. That's fine. That's fine if that happens. And I am being careful not to pour the water directly into the plant, particularly the ones that are sticking straight up. But I'm just trying to get the spag moss that I've got in here really nicely soaked. And you can see that the new roots that it's growing is picking up the water. So with this one, because that root is actually hanging out in the water quite nicely, I'm just going to let that one sit in there for a while. And I actually want to give these littler ones here uh, some nutrients. So what's nice about these small ones is you can just do that. I just put them in upside down. And again, like with this one here, we're just going to gently do that. Just gently rest them in there. Now, I'm not going to turn this tulumnia over onto itself because the water is not deep enough for it to rest. But I am just pouring that right on, on top of it. And so what I might do is just leave these soaking in here for about, I don't know, a couple minutes. You can turn them over if you want to, but look at that root's really taking up that nutrients. We'll just let them just sit there. And they'll just sit there for a couple minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, so... A couple of minutes has gone by, and we're just going to pull this out. Just going to let it drip, let as much drip off as possible. I'm not super worried about it because I do have that plastic tray down there to catch the drips. And then we'll just hang it back up. And same way with these ones. And again, I'm not being super worried about the old man's beard. Why is that? Because I've got a friend that grows it, and I can get a lot of it for free. And honestly, it seems to be fine when you do this to it. All righty, so... All of those are watered. Now, what do I do with the leftover water? Well, I'm going to use that leftover water, and I'm going to water the rest of my just regular houseplants, and whatever's left after that is going to go onto the garden. There you go, how I water my mounts. On not watering days, when I say that I mean when I'm not watering the whole collection, so Sunday through Friday, they get a morning spritz, pretty good soak down, and an evening spritz, so about 7 a.m., about 7 p.m. On Saturdays, they get a good drenching with the bucket of orchid water. And I do, with the smaller ones that can float, turn them over upside down, and just let them sit there for a couple of minutes. And then I just let them drip down onto the old man's beard, down onto some of the, uh, those are phyases down there, I'm hoping will come back from being asleep. And I hope that helps you, love. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. A subscribe would be great. And thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day.